add little things on a website and then use GPS coordinates to try to find it along with hints and clues. And um, Luke remembers that this used to be like a fountain with a spring where you could get spring water. But if you look closely at it, spring water would come out here and run down there. So what's this thing? It's the geocache. It's the geocache. So if you open it, you'll find the little cache with a log rolled up inside that you can sign and date, saying that you found it. Try geocaching. It's fun. So we pull up the side of the road. Yes, we're right by the road. Uh, the bridge for Lacey Kiyosako State Park. Found this. Uh, like, welcome to the park geocache. Coordinates led us over here to these two trees. And it is a traditional size cache. Do you see it? Alright, Luke, reveal it. Building block. Nice. Sometimes they put little toys and stuff in here for kids to find. Oh, is that a travel bug? It's a travel, yeah. Yeah, we should move that one to another cache. Alright, well, yeah. Cool. Nice big one. Usually they're small, so it's nice to occasionally find a big one. Putting its camouflage back up. That's pretty good. <laughs> Put some on the side here. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Awesome. And that's how you geocache. Yeah, so we'll hide this in another um, geocache somewhere and people move them along that way. off of this little picnic area here. Maybe we'll cook and eat our dinner here, but there's another quick geocache to find at this trailhead. I uh, think Luke's got it. Aha! Very well camouflaged. Looks like a nut. Yep. And the little rolled up log is just inside of there. It's magnetic. Lensing. There's caches all around you. You just gotta check the app. So we're just finding some more parking grabs out here in Lacey Kiyosakwa State Park. The G GPS coordinates took us to this trailhead, kind of down here to the end of this barrier. And Luke found this interesting thing sticking out mm, here in the track. <laughs> That's the geocache. Funny. That's a clever one. Whoa, we got leaves falling here. It is October. So we'll slide that guy back in. That is funny. I like that one. Where is it? Still there. Coming closer to the side. Zoom in. Oh, way over there. Okay. Is A deer crossing the river. He just ran across the whole river. Now it's on that little dry patch. Something must have really scared it to make it want to run across the entire river like that. Like it literally started over there and it ran straight across how shallow it is. We saw kids walking across yesterday. It's running Look, again. It's running back. It's running back. Maybe it's just having fun. Look at it bounding. What's it doing? 
It just thinks it's awesome. I don't know why it keeps running How back and funny. forth. It's, a, it's playing. It's springing around. That's really funny. It thinks it's fun. down near Luke's uh, family farm near Kiyosakwa, Iowa at the Lacey Kiyosakwa State Park and we're gonna find or at least hopefully look for some indigenous um, petroglyphs carved into the rocks. Let's go see if we can find it. Heading under the bridge now to check the other side for petroglyphs. Luke says it should look kind of like a rising sun. So, let's see if we can find something that looks like that. The leaves are looking really nice today. Luke says this is looking promising, these rock faces here. So, let's go have a closer look. Yeah? It's not, it's not that sun shape that you remember seeing. It's a bird or a bird or a sun shape. Oh yeah, I think this is p modern people's yeah. graffiti, unfortunately. Nothing? No. Dang. 